Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com and I'm titling this video, Where's My Chlorine? Now, a couple of years ago, a couple summers ago, I was in a, a local big box discount store and I happened to see this person in, standing in line waiting to check out and they, had, they just had a handful of armfuls of pool chemicals. And as I read the labels on them, it dawned on me, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. And instead of coming to a pool store to have his questions answered, he's trying to self-diagnose. And the problem is, what he was trying to do, he would have sort of eventually get there, but he wasn't treating the problem. Many times in the summer, we'll have customers come in and they say, I, 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 I just need, a, I need a, a, a couple bottles of pool stabilizer because I'm going through chlorine like crazy. And we have to stop them and, and ask them, what's the real reason? And that's what you should be asking yourself when, it, when you're going through a similar situation. There are three basics that we want to take a look at before you start adding cyanuric acid. In fact, I can honestly say, you, I can look you dead straight in the eye and tell you that 99 times out of 100, you are not going to need additional cyanuric acid. If you're using a slow dissolving chlorine, or a granular chlorine that, that contains uh, sodium uh, dichloro, you will not need to add a, a second dose of cyanuric acid or stabilizer or, or pool conditioner to your water. Let's go back to those three, three basics that we want to take a look at. The first one is pH. If you watched our, uh, our video on the importance of good water, pool water balance, you'll, you'll know that pH affects everything. When your pH is low and the water is looking clear but you're going through chlorine, then you know that that is the problem that has to get taken care of first. So adjust the pH to, its, to where it should be between 7.4 and 7.6. Also check the other water balance parameters. Make sure that, that, that your alkalinity is in the proper range. If you have a vinyl liner pool, Make sure that your alkalinity is in the 120 to 140, 150 range. If you have a concrete pool, make sure that your, your total alkalinity is at least 80 parts per million. All of those will help to support the pH and, and keep that maintained well so that you don't go through a lot of chlorine. The second basic is water temperature. And this is where a lot of people stumble. And, and, they, and they stumble because they don't understand one important factor. And the important factor is, for every 10 degree rise in temperature, you will use double the amount of chlorine. So, let me give you a, a couple of examples. Let's say you have a 10,000 gallon pool, and you're using a, a, um, a slow dissolving trichloro uh, chlorine product. At about 78 degrees Fahrenheit, that pool will use approximately one pound of chlorine per week at that water temperature. As the water temperature rises up into the uh, mid and upper 80s, that same pool will now use at least two pounds of chlorine for the same week. And that's just because of the extra activity within the water and because of the water temperature. Now let's say you're in, a, you're in a very hot part of the country and you're trying to keep the water temperature under 100 degrees. Well, at 98 degrees, let's say that 98 degrees water temperature, you're now using double of what you used at 88 degrees. So instead of using two pounds, you're now using four pounds. You're using four times the amount of chlorine that you used when the water was at 78 degrees. So keep that in mind. Water temperature is a, tr is a huge variable when it comes to chlorine usage. The third item, or the third basic, that we want to take a look at is usage. How often is the pool being used? If the pool is not being used too often, maybe one or two people, one or two days a week, you're, you don't have a heavy demand being put on the sanitizer. Let's say you have four kids of of your own and each of those invite four of their friends so you've got 16 kids using the pool every day and in between lemonade breaks nobody's going to use the bathroom. Well, 
you have a chlorine demand in there and you will use more chlorine. It's very plain and simple. Keep that in mind. There are a few other causes that, 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 that you should be aware of and just to keep in the back of your mind. If, it, if you're going through a rainy period and there's a lot of rain, fresh rainwater going into the pool, you will use more chlorine. If you have a lot of trees around your pool, as I do here, I go through a little bit more because you have stuff that is dropping in from the trees on a regular basis. If you're dealing with a cloudy water issue, that, that's going to cause you to use more chlorine because you don't know what the problem is. And it may be early algae growth, it may be uh, excessive bacteria that is adding to this cloudy water. All of those factors are going to contribute to where your chlorine is disappearing to. You may have a chlorine demand problem. Chlorine demand problems are something that, that we deal with on a, on a regular basis. And more and more customers are, are having to take care of that issue. Chlorine demands can be from a variety of, of things. There can be excess bacteria in the pool. You may have a crystal clear pool, but you're going through a tremendous amount of chlorine. In that case, you want to have a chlorine demand test done on your water to find out exactly how much you have to shock the pool with. I would strongly recommend that you refer back to our videos and our information about chlorine demand and shocking your swimming pool and just to understand what is going on there. Whenever you do have a chlorine demand, I can tell you that you need to, ma to make that chlorine demand go away. You need to treat it 100%. If you don't treat it 100%, you will go through, you'll go through chlorine and it will just drive you crazy. So if you can get that taken care of, you're going to be a much happier customer and a much happier pool owner, and it's going to cost you less in the long run. Kind of a final reason is biofilms. We've talked about biofilms in, in, in some of our other videos and in, in uh, most of the uh, uh, articles on our websites. Biofilms are something that grow within the pool system. They grow in the lines, they grow in all the nooks and crannies that you can't get to. And the biofilms have contained a lot of the bacteria that just suck up the chlorine and suck up whatever sanitizer that you happen to be using. So it's necessary to take care of those. If you're having a problem maintaining chlorine and you just can't get it right, please give us a call. In fact, you may even want to send us a water sample so that we can do a chlorine demand test for you. You can find all those, all those uh, uh, papers and information at our, at our website. If you have any technical questions, you can email me at techhelp at parpools.com and I'll be happy to answer them for you. For any further information, you can also visit our website at parpools.com forward slash pool care for all your pool care needs. Thanks and enjoy the pool.